everyone. Welcome to my show here in Tennessee. It's going to be a short show tonight. We had a little bit of technical problems, but a little bit better than nothing, right? So uh, yeah, I hope everyone had a great week and everyone's feeling blessed and strong and ready to move on through this week. It is Wednesday, so it's week reset Wednesday. And I'm really excited about that because uh, I had a little bit of stress earlier and I need to reset. <laughs> anyway, so I uh, came to me, I was a little inspired today to discuss a little bit um, instruction on manifesting. You know, um, everybody's always talking about manifesting. If you hold, you know, if you, if you set a good intention and you hold that intention that you could just manifest and people are always asking me, how does that work exactly? You know, and from my experience, what I've learned is uh, we can't, you know, uh, we can't live in a place up here where we're always so happy, so excited, everything's just crazy, like, wow, you know, you can't, you can't maintain that. And you don't want to ever live down here where you're just really sad and depressed and, you know, things are just hum bomb and, you, you know, you just, you know, you can't be here and you can't be here. So what I've learned in my trainings and working with so many people is we need to be like baselines, what I like to call it like here. And I actually imagine a number line with the, the numbers being like zero on the, for me on the left and over here is 10. So I like to be somewhere between eh, four and six, right? And then this way as well. So I don't want to be too, you know, manic, hyper, crazy all the time up here. And you don't want to be depressed down here all the time either. But, you know, life is life. So we have the good and we have the not so good. And sometimes we have the terrible. So what we try to do is bring that into this baseline. So when you're manifesting for something in your life, whether it's an item, um, a career, a relationship, um, you know, maybe a new car, uh, a new home, whatever, whatever it is that you're, you know, you're looking for, hopefully, you know, you also manifest your health, which I'll step into that in a minute too. We um, want to set an intention in our mind very clearly on what it is that we want, that we want, that we are desiring, that we are willing to create and help God and the angels in the universe create these things for us. And I like to, you know, in the back of my head, I say, you know, I really need a new car. My car is thumping, making a weird sound. I don't know how this is going to happen, but God, I need a new car. I'm going to throw this out there. Angels, however this has to happen, let's make it happen. And I don't say what I don't want. I don't say I don't want this to have this problem or that problem. Or you know, we just totally just just discount that, and we go right to what it is we do want. You know. So for me, it hit me today. We we're out on our little boat, and about two years ago, I was doing a manifesting uh, little class with some people, and it was really great. And we did a vision board, which a vision board is typically like a big poster board and. You cut out pictures out of magazines or you can draw on it or you can take snapshots and put on it or whatever you want to do. Anything that uh, represents the things that you want to manifest in your world. These vision boards uh, can become very elaborate and you can have different sections on the board for different parts of your life. Or you may just have like one board. You want a vacation and you have a vacation board, whatever, whatever it is for you. But what we want to do is the color that's right for us and then sit with that and get it you know if, if, you, if you guys come to my show often you probably should go to have pencil and paper because uh we cover i cover a lot and you might want to take notes on this however so if when you get ready to manifest what you do want you want to like get a piece of paper maybe or use your phone recorder or something and talk into your phone or write it on paper or draw it even paint it what exactly you want and what you're creating. And then you just imagine like Santa's little elves or something, I don't know, fairies or stardust or whatever it is, you know, just particles coming together, making all these things happen. So you can't see them yet, but they're in motion. Things are changing, things are happening. And at the same time, you know what you want, you're clear on it, you state those facts. You might want to write it out. You might want to write it every day. You might want to say, you know, um, I'm really enjoying, loving, knowing my new car is coming and it's this car that I've asked for or something better, you know, um, always something better. And to never hurt anyone else, of course, you know, to, there's plenty for everyone. So you get that there, you make your vision board, you put it on your vision board. Now you have this in three places in your mind on your paper and on your vision board. And then you sit with it and you, what does that feel like? What's that leather smell like? What's that? 
you know, your car feel like when you're driving it down the road, you know, and you're being all sporty and having a good time and, you know, and you can get in that new car and drive, you know, as far as you want to go and not have to worry about any mechanical problems. That feels great. You know, that feels really good. So when you get that, do something we call anchoring and you put these fingers together and you hold on to that. Take a nice breath, two or three. Oh, and you feel that, you know, how it feels good, that new car and how that feels and, you know, how, how you know, what you're going to feel like in that new car. I'm going to feel safe and comfortable and happy and I get to go visit my friends or you know, whatever it is for you. Maybe, you know, like I said, it's your health and you just want to, you know, stop having pain every day. You just want to, you know, get your blood pressure under control or your, you know, your weight, you know, under control, either gaining weight, losing weight, maybe just getting in better shape, whatever it is. But you have that, and you know what that feels like. And then you really get jazzed about it. And you're like, oh, my God, it's great. I've got this perfect car. My health's great. Everything's wonderful. This is fantastic. And then you bring it down a notch, and you go, okay. And what I was taught is to, uh, you know, forward pace this out, like, three years. I've had this for three years. This is my new car. I still love it. It's really great. It's in great shape, and I really like it. But, yeah, I'm not so giddy about it anymore, you know, but I'm really excited. I'm, I'm very grateful to have it, but, you know, it's just not that big thrill like it was when you first were thinking about it or when you first got it. Same thing with your health. You know, what does that feel like? You know, it's not like you're going to be, well, I'll run up and down the hills, you know, like 25 times to show your family after the first time, maybe, but you'll be able to climb the stairs easy and you'll be able to keep your breath, you know, and you'll be able to go kayaking or dancing or whatever, or maybe it's something as simple as just getting out of bed, you know, for some of us that were compromised at that level, that's a huge accomplishment every day to get out of the bed, get in the shower, get out of the shower, take care of yourself, you know, and maybe take care of some other people a little bit, you know, but these are huge accomplishments. So what, what would you feel like if you were there in three years? Okay, now it's been five years. That's your baseline. So now you're not way up here. I can't wait to have a new car, you know, or way down here. And I'm never going to have that new car. You're here. And you've had this car for five years. And every time you think about that car or that health or that job or whatever it is, you want to say, okay, this is manifesting right now. This is happening. It's creating. It hasn't come into fruition. I can't see it with my eyes, but it's coming. You know, things are lining up. It's all falling into place. And there's a game called Connect Four. Y'all might remember it, where there's a little, like, little skinny slots, and you drop, they look like checkers down in there. And when you get four across, it's, you know, you win the game. But that's kind of how I see things, you know, being intuitive. And the, my psychic gifts, one of them is being very, very visual. So I see things and also hear them. And in this case, when I'm manifesting, I hear, and they're four in a line. And so today, when we were out on our boat, I was remembering two years ago, when me and a small group of people were doing some manifesting and, and learning from, you know, doing this great class. And then my daughter-in-law was there and she was really interesting because she really didn't have a lot of faith in what we were doing. So a couple of days later, she and I are together again and I had bought these beautiful little dishes and I was putting them aside and they're blue and white. And she said, what are you going to do with those? And I said, oh, those are for our houseboat. And she goes, you have a houseboat? I said, no, not yet, but we will have a houseboat. And she's like, how are you going to do that? I said, I have no idea, but it's coming. <laughs> well, we played on our houseboat today. And those dishes were in a cabinet. And as I was looking at those dishes, I remembered this whole process. So I just really wanted to take some time. And again, sorry this is short tonight. But, you know, I, I just really wanted to get that message across. You're worth it. You know, whatever you want, you deserve it. You earned it. You can have it. Don't ever doubt yourself. If it looks like it's, things aren't coming to pass, just go back to that baseline. You know, I've already had it. I already got it. It's great. This is just still so wonderful. And remember times when you thought about things you want or things that you've uh, earned and created in your life and how it took those steps to get there. But you never gave up. You know, that degree, that high school diploma, I don't know, you know, pick whatever it is, you know, something. Everybody has, you know, something. Some people have a lot of things, you know, that they've accomplished, and that's great too. But I always go back to that because our subconscious knows these paths. And when you say things like "I can't," "I don't," "I won't," um, your subconscious knows these words very well, and it will block you at every level. But when you say "I have," "I can," "I have done that," "I know how to do that," "I feel that," you know, 
yeah, you get in that old car, you know, tonight or when you got home tonight, maybe. But now thinking about next time you go to get in that car, smell the leather, you know, feel that, you know, cold air conditioner, that warm heat and that beautiful music coming out of those new uh, stereo speakers and just hold that, hold on to that vibration and just remind yourself, this is my base level. So when you're getting all happy and giddy, go for it, man. Feel it. Love it. You know, it's awesome. It's so much fun to be creative and have these great desires and to know that these things are coming. And there's a saying, and it's, um, I remember when I prayed for the things that I have now. And if you have children or family um, or your health or, you know, food on your table, well, guess what? You're blessed. You're absolutely blessed. And then all the other stuff, you know, it's, it's all perks. But we can have it all and we each deserve it and we have to remember that you know we really deserve it we are these incredible children of the creator and don't ever forget it you know no one's better than you you're not better than anyone we're all equal we're all beautiful we're all amazing and we can all have what we desire we just have to put our minds to it put our hearts to it of course a little elbow grease never hurts you know but at the same time you want to remember that you deserve it and it's yours and you have it and you just stay at that base level, stay at that base level. And you know, when you get up here and you stay up here for a while, really feel it and have a great time with it and then bring it back down. And if you start feeling negative and doubt and stuff, yeah, push that stuff aside. It ain't real anyways, it's all an illusion. And there are forces that want you to, you know, fail. So don't feel any satisfaction of it. If you suffered in this life, you've suffered enough. You don't have to suffer anymore. Everything is beautiful. The world is your oyster. So get out there and own it, guys. You know, let's let's take what's ours and just make it even better. I love y'all. Be grateful. Be happy. Keep looking up. And remember, you can always reset your week. Take care, guys. Good night. Love you.